Tracy from Lavinia Stamps. We're going to be using our lovely Magnus and our floral wreath. So taking our wreath first of all, we're going to ink up in the morning mist. And then I'm going to just pop that at the top like so. Give that a good press down and then we'll just repeat that again just below. Again, give it a good press and then this time I'm going to Simply ink up and I'm going to stamp off and then I'll use that second impression to go over the top and I'll do the same on the other side. So stamp off and then just pop that down just inside the circle and hopefully that will be pretty even. So now I'm going to just take some of our smaller stamps so we've got our holly here so I'm just going to bob a little of this around using the twilight. I'm going to ink up, I'm going to take off and then add. So take off and then stamp. And the beauty of these reeds you can make them as big or as small as you want. Now a lot of people have been doing lots of demonstrations using these reeds and I think they're absolutely fabulous. The, um, the inspiration that people give us, you know, using different things, different colours, everyone is unique um, and I've seen some beautiful demonstrations out there so um, it's inspiring to see how creative everybody is it really is there's some true talent out there okay so I've got warm breeze now So again, I'm just filling in the spaces in and around. These are so lovely and fine, almost looks feather-like, very pretty, delicate. It's knowing when to stop isn't it, it's quite therapeutic just keeping on going. Okay, right, what's next? We've got a little berry here, so let's ink this up and just pop a few of these about.
Okay. And then we've got our little bit of foliage that comes with the set. I'm going to go back to the morning mist with this. Bob a few of those about. There we go. Okay, so let's have a look. We've got Magnus here, and we're going to pop him down in the centre. And we're going to ink him up in the twilight. Now make sure that you've covered him completely. He's a big stump, so just take your time. And then I'm going to just line him up like so and just place him down. Okay, and then give that a good press again. Let that ink soak into the card. Okay. Perfect. Okay, there we go. So, from here, I'm going to just grab one of our smoothies and the twilight. And I'm just going to give that a little bit of colour, a little bit of depth down at the bottom here. So he doesn't look like he's floating. Okay. And now I think we, I think we need a little bit of colour. Um, before the colour, actually, I'm going to just pop a verse around the edge here. So, I'm going to use the warm breeze and then ink up. just at the edge here. Okay. And now I've got my little Secura pen, which is a, a red one. This is the glaze. And then I'm going to take, I've got a little graphics pen here. And we're just going to hang some little baubles. Now you don't have to draw the lines completely straight, just give them a little wiggle as they come down. Okay, and now we're going to use our red pen and we're just going to fill those little circles with this lovely red glaze which I think looks fab. Lastly, let's give a little bit of a depth of colour around the edge. So I'm going back to the twilight and I'm literally just kissing the edge.
you can always add a little bit of glitter if you wish but I think with that red there that's just enough going on for me right now I think it's um, nice if I just leave it be well guys I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourselves and we'll see you real soon bye for now